Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. So today, we are in the sunroom, I must say my favorite room right now, adding in the many beautiful colors of spring. The sun has been perfectly greeting the sunroom with its light and warmth. I can't even begin to share with you all how this has been renewing my spirit. I'd like to ask every one of you to just, just take a moment every day to lift up your face to the sun and gently take in a breath and exhale and let your senses feel how goodness truly is still all around us. That being said, let's begin, shall we? So we are going to be working this week on this part of the sunroom. I absolutely love all the many different colors and the stonework and the way this yellow love seat that was purchased from Ikea looks up against the stonework. They actually have discontinued this yellow buttercream pattern, though. I really wish they wouldn't have done that because it is absolutely gorgeous. And then in the corner, we have the cabinet that I just recently painted and distressed. And we're going to see how we can bring all of this together love the butterscotch colors in this stone. So we're going to begin things with my clay pot lamp. That's right. Just go to any local store and buy a clay pot. And in this case, this one has been painted black. And with a mortar bit, you drill a hole into the bottom of the pot so that your cord can come through and you just begin decorating. Now here I started by placing in some moss and I will be adding in some other spring greenery as well. Now I am almost positive I will be giving a DIY on how to build this pot. But today I'm going to be placing in some of these florals and I honestly don't remember where I purchased these pieces from. So now that I have the greenery on top, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm having to use this stick. It's because I'm back behind the tripod and I just didn't feel like moving my way through, but I just wanted to show you all how I have it cascading off the sides. And we will be adding some of this yellow floral. These were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And what I did is I just separated some of the branches from the main pick. I believe I got four, maybe five of them off of one branch. So I put, have all the yellow floral placed in and now I'm adding in some berries. Now these berries are in my Amazon storefront and they will be coming back in stock as of the 30th of March. So set your calendars and clocks. 
They're fabulous berries to work with. So here we have our wonderful lamp inside of a clay pot. I absolutely love all the rich colors. It's as simple as getting whatever color you want to work with on your pot. And I used black, of course, because it always makes the moth stand out. So I added a little bit of lavender here, real dried lavender, because I wanted the scent of lavender in this corner because there is something very soothing about the scent of lavender. And I'm just gonna tuck in pieces of moss and the little, the little empty spots within this arrangement. As you can see, it just really helps make your florals look and feel more natural when you work with the moss. It looks nicely with all the berries and the yellow floral and the lavender, of course. But what it leaves behind is a mess, as you can see, but that's okay. It's well worth it. I don't fuss too much about the mess. And down at the bottom, you can see I just added moss all around in the tray. So I have it tucked back into the corner so I can continue decorating. And we are going to start with this gray washed wicker tray. And I purchased this from just going to private nurseries. Always, always go and look at private nurseries in your area because they always have different, well not always, but most of the time, some nice wicker items in there that you don't find inside regular stores. I'm going to place this little burlap, um, I believe it's a placemat inside the tray. Now to it, I will be placing my wonderful bunny. I actually have a previous video on how I painted this piece with many different acrylics, chalk, and glaze. It was originally pur purchased for $14.99 at Ross, and it was all cream. And I thought, you know, I could really, really warm up this bunny nicely. So again, I do have a video showing how I painted this bunny and basket step by step to give it the nice warm antique feel. So I placed it right in the center. I love how the floral looks back behind the bunny and I'm going to add in these fabulous pots. I purchased these many years ago from a shop in California and immediately fell in love with these beauties. My only regret is I did not purchase more of them. I only have three. So 
So I placed two to the left and to the right I placed one down on its side. When working with multiple pots, I do like giving a staggered look. It's more appealing to the eye. Now I will be adding three of these. These were purchased some greenery from Michaels. And I love, love, love how they are wrapped in the brown paper because there's nothing better than brown paper packages tied up with string and I just place them all around the two pots to the left they both offer different textures and colors and that's the the desired effect and look I'm trying to achieve and to the right inside that pot, I placed in the moss with a little piece of bark. Now I'm adding in some of these eggs and these were, I have also have a DIY on these last year um, from last spring. They're spring DIY eggs and I was actually inspired by Deborah from the Painted South. She just inspired me to make these beauties. And I place them inside the pot. And next I will be adding in this little nest that's purchased from Hobby Lobby. And some carrots. Now these were originally orange. Um, again, spring, I have quite a bit that I worked with last spring. I have a DIY on these. I just dipped them inside some staining oil, made them brown, and highlighted them with some gold paint. And I added them inside the nest. Now I'm just going to work with different um, types of greenery and yellow all around in the tray. These were purchased from Michaels. Wonderful yellow green variegated. And the others, I believe those were purchased from Hobby Lobby. So I just placed them all around the pots and the bird's nest. And I'm going to add in one of my berry bowls. I will be placing it right up front. Perfect. I love it there. And I'm just going to add a sweet little yellow votive candle inside of my berry bowl. And when the candle's not burning, the glass cloche will be right on top. And the last thing that was added was the golden egg inside of the basket. Now the golden egg, everyone, let the golden egg always, always be a reminder to us all to be satisfied with what we have. Because by desiring all, we actually lose everything. So always, always let your cups overflow with kindness and love. Absolutely perfect.